It's February and 15 orchids are in bloom on my windowsill. Please check out our iPhone application called Orchid Collection to keep track of your orchids. Link in the description box. Now let's zoom in on each of them. I noticed that my Falstobertiana crossed with Bastiania I had opened its first flower when I smelled something offensive. These flowers look so pretty, but they are little stink bombs. They give off this distinct overripe banana and socks smell. The plant itself is compact, has a rather upright growth habit and has always had more roots than leaves. I've been growing it for 7 or 8 years now and it keeps challenging me with its smell, its roots and its needs basically. I'm still glad it's blooming with its lovely windmill shaped flowers that are color changing. I will link to my spotlight video in the upper right corner of the screen. Dendrobium harveyanum is very new in my collection. It's one that I got rid of and had to buy again because it's so lovely. I got it with a tender spike and lo and behold it formed buds, although I kept it bare rooted to make sure not to miss any bugs. I linked to the video of my Elsner haul in the upper right corner of the screen. I'm in love with these dainty flowers. They're a bit pale. But their smell is lovely and I thought I wouldn't see any flowers from this plant in quite a while, so I'm really thankful. The flowers are so, so beautiful, with their petals being very edged and their lips being covered with hairs. I didn't know they could bloom at such a young age or such a small size. It's a very small pot, I think 7 centimeters wide, and I've potted it in sphagnum moss with some small sized bark chips and some pumice. Here's another fowl, Phalaenopsis equestris. It has grown quite a bit and has two spikes. One comes from the basal khaki. I grow it in memory of Rachel's son Josh. The spikes will continue forming buds for a while. Two or three old flowers have fallen off already, but they last for quite a bit, I'd say about four weeks. This is a variety without any yellow in the side lobes. If you love growing Phalaenopsis khakis, you need to have a Phalaequestris. And here's a little Vanda. Compared to my very large vanders that are almost as tall as I am, it's a true miniature. I hadn't noticed the third spike until I took it away from the window for the video. It's really hard working. While my Cattleya seem to be struggling with the low winter light levels, and their most ruby pixie is doing so so well. Not a single bud has blasted and it has a lovely smell too. Like Fanta lemon or some other fizzy fruit drink. So lovely. Dendrobium berry is still in bloom, but since I've just done a separate video on it, I'll keep it short and simple and link to the video in the upper right corner of the screen. The canes are shriveled at the moment, which indicates it needs to be watered, but it's not too sensitive. It's a really rewarding plant. Fal amboinensis crossed with Marie is on its way out, but I wanted to include it anyway. It's doing really well. Another rather small sized Vanda is Vanda Surolescence. Vanda Motes Ruby Pixie is a primary hybrid and this is a species orchid. So many beautiful flowers and it hasn't lost a single one of them. The spike has grown in such a nice arc shaped way, really pretty. And there are more buds to come. Look at the tip of the spike. 
it keeps growing. I can highly recommend this species as long as it's not taken from the wild. It's really easy to grow and very rewarding. I've heard that not every variety is fragrant though. The off-white variety of Oncidium Twinkle is in full bloom. The pink variety has faded already, it's always earlier, and since then the same pot it looks a bit wild in the transition period, when the pink flowers are fading and the white flowers are opening at the same time. But now the white variety has made its appearance. To my nose the fragrance is really pleasant. This is one of my few no-ID fells. I love the beautiful colouring, the veining and the rainbow lips. But considering it's a quite large plant, it would be nice if it produced more than three flowers per season, just saying. Anyway, it always makes me happy to see it in bloom. My Psychopsis is in full bloom again. It's so nice to see the bracts and know how hardworking this plant is. It's doing okay, but I have problems with the new growth. I accidentally damaged it and it began to mold. It's in the middle of the plant, so I really hope the infection won't spread. This little fowl has some pitting on the newest leaf, but it has stopped progressing on its own and has made a nice spike. I had repotted or up-potted this plant to avoid transplant shock a while ago, and it's doing quite well in its new pot. It's also quite fragrant, it has a fruity smell, and I think I've done a spotlight video on this one as well in case you're interested. And for the sake of completeness, here's the keiki of my fell equestris that I've shown before. It's also in bloom. It's still quite small, but it's blooming size already. They bloom at a very young age and it has a spike with the keiki as well. My no ID LC that might be Potinara Free Spirit continues producing blooms here and there, which is really nice since it's a quite bulky plant that is taken in quite a lot of space. This is my purple no ID fowl, it's my biggest fowl. It has produced a very nice cascading spike. It's always busy growing something. Mostly leaves. It never gets boring. That's what I like about it. And it's a real eye-catcher compared to the other ones on the windowsill. And last but not least, Falchilleriana. Let me show you its leaves first, because they bring me joy all year round. I love that dark green and silvery pattern. The spike has two branches with two flowers each and ten flowers in total. They are fragrant as soon as I air the room. There are some slight irregularities in the flowers but I'm not worried as long as the plant is doing so well. What do you want to see next on my channel? And which plant did you like best? Let me know in the comments please. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please share it with someone else who might be interested on Facebook or somewhere else on social media. Happy growing to all of you! Bye bye!